Gerard Brown with you here for Irish Football Fan TV. I'm delighted to be joined by Danny Grant after Bohemian's 0 0 draw away to Dundalk. Danny, it was a funny game from a neutral. It was a very enjoyable game to watch. You probably had a better chance in the first half. Dundalk probably a slightly better chance in the second half. Would you feel then a draw was the fairest result? Yeah, probably, yeah, but you could argue that, you know, the chances we had were probably more clear cut. You know, I think we, we done well to frustrate Dundalk and kind of let them let them have possession and but they, I don't think they created too many, you know, Duffy probably had a decent chance that, that zipped away and but I think for us we probably had four or five good chances in the first half. Dre's one being being the best one. So I think you could argue that maybe the draw is a fair result, yeah, but we probably had the, the clearer chances. And even on the second half you didn't really do that much in the way of attacking at the first. You show how solid and how good you can be defensively because like yeah. James in they didn't have to make many saves. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, as I was saying, they didn't really create too much. I think we frustrated them in the first half. Obviously, we had, I think, more of an attacking threat than, than the second half, which is expected here. You know, Dundalk are obviously going to come out and up it a bit in the second half at nil all and, and try and get a goal. But yeah, we showed how, how solid we are defensively, especially with, you know, makeshift back forward. Barks and, and Paddy coming in, who are both unbelievable centre half, so they both done unbelievable and deserve a lot of credit they deserve. So, if things had got wrong for you tonight, you could be forgiven for making uh, excuses for yourself. Obviously, with the whole COVID case and players having to self isolate, and then a double whammy. You were held up in traffic and were late coming here before the game, but didn't let you affect you one bit. Yeah, no, we talked about. <laughs> obviously, we were late, so we didn't have too much time to talk. But you know, there's no point in, in having excuses. We set up for the game, and you know, every every team's going through the same thing with with COVID. Losing, missing their players and, and stuff, so it's just uncertain times, I suppose. But yeah, we we've showed, you know, our squad depth and, and our, our attitude by, by digging out a good result here away to Dundalk. So interesting stats about to come from tonight's game. It's your first draw of the season. Who would have thought you would have had to wait to the third yeah. last game of the season? Keith even just in a short said it, season. Yeah. Sixteen games. And that's our first draw of the season. So it's a bit of a matter. I don't know what it comes down to. That we're just winning or losing games. But yeah, it's a bit of a weird one. But that's our first draw. So. Yeah, at the moment you're down to play Finn Harps at home next Saturday in the league. It's meant to be your last home league game, but we don't really know where we are as a country. We're kind of taking it day by day, even hour by hour. As for players yourselves, how are you finding the whole situation? Because like, you've been in this boat again and here you find yourselves all over again. Yeah, we've been in that at the start of the year, you know, when there's the country went into lockdown and stuff like that. And it's kind of, you have to do your own work. And so we don't know where, where we stand. There's obviously been a recommendation to go back to, to a level five lockdown. And so we don't know if we're going to go. Going to lockdown, but you know we'll prepare as well as we can to to hopefully go and play Finn Harps and hopefully we can finish the season off without any more lockdowns. Would you like to just finish the season out this year, or look to we'll go with the health of eyes? We we'll finish it off maybe we'll start it next year, and we might maybe then have to look into a condensed 2021 season. I suppose as a footballer, you obviously want to play. You want to play football. It's what we love doing. It's our job, and so yeah, I think I think everyone would like to to finish the season if possible. Yeah. And funny, it's been a busy week for yourself, obviously with all the. Setbacks, the senior team, you were one of them to be lucky to get a call up to the 21 team. You came on and made your debut against Italy on Tuesday night. Obviously a disappointing result, but it must be still one of the proudest moments of your career. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a proud moment for, for me and my family. You know, the 21s, obviously, that pool of players, the, the squad there is it's just unbelievable. So to be included in, in that kind of quality of player and, and to make my debut, you know, I've probably waited a while. I've been in two or three squads already and I haven't actually featured. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy to come on despite the results, obviously. A disappointing result against the tough Italy side, but you know we're still it's it's in our hands still, you know. So we have to go and face Iceland and, and Luxembourg soon, and, and hopefully I'll be in the squad for that. Yeah, hopefully we can get the wins. And I said there's a lot of jealous people you even just got allowed to fly out of the country. <laughs> yeah, Danny, fair, thanks yeah. very much for your time this no evening problem, mate. and safe journey home. Thank you.